All right, so now uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at this circuit. Primarily, we're focused on the uh, PNP transistor here. So I assumed you watched the uh, last video I did, or you have a somewhat general knowledge of uh, NPN, bipolar junction transistors. The schematic symbol for the PNP is basically the same, except for the arrow that indicates the emitter terminal is pointing in for the PNP transistor, whereas it is pointing out for the NPN transistor. So it's important that you look at the uh, transistor symbol and uh, which direction the arrow is going. So in any case, we have the uh, basic switch circuit. I do have a pull-up resistor though. It was a pull-down resistor for the uh, NPN. And uh, in any case, it's just a simple switch circuit. So. The uh, switch isn't actually turning the LED on. It's uh, connecting the base of the transistor to ground and the transistor is in series with uh, the LED and a resistor. The uh, resistor is uh, actually to ground in the circuit whereas the LED is in between the resistor and the transistor. I have them the opposite direction here. It doesn't matter as long as they're in series and the LED is facing the right way and the uh, leads to the transistor are connected properly it doesn't matter which order they are in while well, they are in series as long as we are on the collector side of the transistor so in any case let's uh, look at the component in a little more detail so I'm using the uh, 2N3906 transistor there the camera doesn't pick up the uh, numbers on uh, the component terribly well but uh, I got an old picture of that one and it has the uh, pin layouts here so well the transistors facing us and this is pretty much uh, any transistor that starts with 2N every single transistor I came across that starts with 2N has this pin layout when it's facing you emitter on uh, this pin base on the middle pin and then collector over on that pin so now let's briefly take a look at uh, basically how the PNP transistor is internally so we covered this with the NPN transistor in the last video for this video we got the uh, PNP so same basic setup P type material with an N type material and a P type material N type material sandwiched in between those two P type of materials so we have two current pads that uh, we're going to deal with so we control the emitter to base we're talking about conventional current going positive to uh, negative and uh, so the uh, current we have go through the PN junction from emitter to base which is like a diode so it's going to take about 0.7 volts before it starts conducting this will block the current till we get about a 0.7 volt difference and uh, once we get past that current will start flowing and then based on how much current is flowing here we'll get a multiple amount of current flowing through the transistor but with the switch we just want to put enough current through where it's pretty much guaranteed that we'll get full current flowing through the transistor it'll basically be like a piece of wire almost where it'll have almost no resistance so it's not as good as a piece of wire when it's saturated but uh, it's pretty close so now the emitter is the most positive part of the circuit put the positive side of the circuit to the emitter and then the more negative side of the circuit to the uh, collector and this is just two different ways that the schematic diagram is commonly shown so the NPN transistor it's almost always shown with the arrow down at the bottom right the arrow is where the emitter is and uh, the PNP transistor generally you'll probably see this just in uh, books that show you the schematic symbol or something whereas in circuits the more positive side of the circuit is usually higher and the more negative is lower so you'll probably see this one but uh, both of these are pretty common to come across and also you can turn it you know like 90 degrees either way you can have the base at the bottom or the top and uh, it doesn't really matter but uh, especially with PMP you're more likely to see it in a number of different ways whereas the NPN is usually like this way so in any case let's get back to uh, the terminals emitter is going to be most positive side of the transistor collector the most negative and the base will be something in between 
but to get the transistor to conduct the base has to be more negative than the emitter by 0.7 volts and down here I threw in some uh, numbers I got from data sheets and you just do a Google search of the part number and data sheet make sure you look up though we're using the uh, 2 TO 92 package transistor this little plastic one with the flat edge and usually I've been coming across the uh, transistor that are in little cans little metal cans and uh, they can usually handle more current so be careful make sure you get one with the TO 92 package shown on there but in any case here's the current I got the 2N2222 which is the NPN bipolar junction transistor we used in the last video can handle 600 milliamps of current it has the, or the NPN bipolar junction transistor has a version called 2N3904 which cannot handle as much current so make sure you look at the part number first off to see if it's NPN or uh, PNP and uh, oops I goofed on, goofed on that that's a PNP transistor but uh, we're using the 2N3906 it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor and currents going in the opposite direction so we refer to it as a negative current but uh, this PNP transistor 2N3906 cannot handle as much current as the uh, 2N2222 that we used in the last video but the 2N2222 has a PNP version as I said I, I wrote that wrong that should be PNP and uh, that can handle as much current but of course going in the opposite direction because it's opposite polarity and of course these are absolute maximum values you shouldn't aim for 600 milliamps of uh, current with the 2N2222 but that's really telling you when you're getting into dangerous territory so now for fun let's put the uh, 2N3906 into the uh, transistor tester and so I got the three pins one into one one into two and one into three if uh, you put uh, two of them into three they'll connect directly so I'll make sure they're in different uh, pin numbers but there you can see one is the emitter two is the base three is the collector bipolar junction transistor uh, PNP it's given us the gain so now gain is unreliable and uh, so you'll probably never see a circuit that uh, really depends on the gain that is measured there's the uh, forward voltage that's going to take from a base to emitter to get it to start conducting pin number one two and three EBC that's the uh, voltage of the battery so these uh, transistors are transistor testers are pretty nice they test these other components and uh, I don't think there's really a brand name to this particular one it's sold under a whole bunch of brand names so some factory probably just spits them out and uh, lets people just say it's their brand so now let's actually get to building the circuit so I'm using this adapter that plugs into the outlet I always keep it at 9 volts and uh, that way I'll know that it's always 9 volts and the uh, wire that comes out of it goes over here there's a bunch of different attachments you can put to it but uh, for I'm using the barrel plug for this breadboard power supply which I bought uh, separately we can output 5 volts where I have it set now 3 volts or we can center it for uh, 0 volts and uh, so that's pretty straightforward let's get uh, moving on to the rest of the circuit adapter is plugged back in but the uh, breadboard supply is off the green light is out and uh, let's do the transistor first so we already saw that uh, flat side facing us the uh, pin on the left here is the emitter so we want to move that to where it is the uh, higher pin as far as the uh, breadboard is concerned and I'm going to put it where uh, we have a few spaces to the right and then one space to the left that way I can run the resistor that's going to come from the switch around that way kind of keep it out of the way a little bit so now I have the 5 volt up there and the ground down there which is commonly seen in circuits but uh, the ground is basically where you want all parts of your circuit to end at so with this particular one we have the uh, positive side of the power supply there 
current path we're thinking of going that way and also it's going that way so these two paths they uh, start there and then end there as far as our analysis goes we don't have to do that we could say this is ground in some circuits it may be ground might be the center part of the circuit with positive on one side negative on the other and uh, that's another way to go but uh, we could think of this as ground and that being the uh, negative side of the uh, circuit and so it's all relative you may see it wired uh, somewhat differently based on where the uh, ground is but uh, the main takeaway is which side of the circuit is more positive and which side of the circuit is more negative but uh, generally you consider the uh, where the ground symbol is to be zero volts and then there's a five volt difference there and uh, we got zero volts here and a five volt difference there the only difference between these two is this is where it's more negative and then that's where the five volts is more positive so in any case hopefully that's not uh, too confusing but uh, usually you'll see it wired more like this now let's uh, go to the LED so the LED of course the uh, cathode the shorter lead has to go towards the more negative side of the circuit the long lead the anode needs to go towards the more positive side of the circuit unless you want to block current but we want the current to flow through the LED as easily as it can it will block about two volts while it's forward biased and I don't know how much it will block while it's reverse biased but probably more than uh, 12 volts so in any case it's going to uh, the negative side of the circuit the long lead the anode is towards the collector so I'm going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to swap where the resistor is with the LED so the anode is towards the uh, cathode there we go and we're going to take a 220 ohm resistor so it's uh, red red and then uh, black black with these uh, five stripe ones and then the uh, brown stripe on the right is the uh, tolerance so uh, 220 ohms and that's going to go to uh, the negative rail so collector is towards the negative rail and then our switch to the base will be to the negative rail let's do that right now so we're going to use a one kilo ohm resistor we could go lower the main takeaway is we want to make sure we have enough current coming to the base of the transistor actually coming out of the base if you're thinking of conventional current to make sure that the transistor is saturated as we saw the meter said the gain was about 400 and uh, it probably won't be that high when we do the circuit so we use a lower value resistor than calculating by the gain we got and uh, so with the current we get out of here probably we'll only need whatever like 10 times that amount of current which is a lot less than 400 so we got a wide safety margin and uh, in any case there we go we're wired up turn the uh, power on that went to the base of the transistor by the way the middle one and there you go we got the LED on so let's take a look at that brightness let's swap this resistor and uh, here's why we have that other resistor is uh, you can see my body can accidentally trigger this so first let's go with the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor and we did this with our NPN one too and uh, but uh, I'll show it again so a 10 kilo ohm resistor 10 times the resistance there we go looks like the LED is just as bright so 10 kilo ohms is probably okay too so the numbers don't have to be exact just uh, take the numbers you see on schematics as a starting point but make sure you're limiting current enough where the resistor is not going to get too hot because it exceeds its wattage rating and that uh, in this case the LED doesn't burn out because it's passing too much current or the transistor because it's passing too much current or exceeding its wattage value that probably has the wattage value of these TO92 packages of about 0.6 watts so you gotta look at the voltage across them multiply them by the current going through them and uh, keep that below about 0.6 watts so I put the uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor back in and I showed this on our uh, general schematic so sometimes you'll see schematics like this without uh, values on the uh, 
components. And so it'll have like Q for transistors and uh, we know it's PMP because the arrow is pointing in towards the base and uh, so here we have a pull up resistor that's why I put the uh, R there for resistor and then in smaller letters down here PU for pull up because that's going up to the uh, positive side of the power supply with the NPN transistor we had to go down towards the more negative side of the circuit and uh, because it's the opposite polarity transistor so there we go and now you can see that I'm really not false triggering and I can if I really try but uh, these bumps aren't showing up as much and of course the circuit works the same otherwise because the uh, current that's flowing through here doesn't really get overwhelmed on that side 